Welcome to our beautiful planet, Earth, where nature has been evolving for millions of years. What an amazing planet. But due to technology and industrialization, new human-made contaminants have been introduced into our ecosystem. Today, most bodies of water contain particles called PCBs, which... Wait a second. I should probably explain what PCBs are before we continue. PCBs, or polychlorinated biphenyls, are a class of man-made organic chemicals. Each PCB molecule contains two phenyl rings, a ring of six carbon atoms that make up these harmful chemicals. See, PCBs have been contaminating our rivers and waterbeds since 1929, but they weren't banned by the U.S. government until 1979. Nevertheless, they've been stuck in the water, marine animals eat them, and guess what? We eat those animals. Gross. PCBs cause tons of different health defects in humans, including cardiovascular issues, reproductive issues, neurotoxicity, core acne, and cancer. That's really nasty. So, what can we do to solve this problem, you ask? Well, currently, only two real options exist to clean up PCBs from marine sediment. The first is dredging, but with this option, the PCBs are removed from our rivers and lakes and stored somewhere else, usually in landfills. It costs tons of money to dredge bodies of water, and, yes, digging up all that sediment has a lasting impact on marine life in our ecosystem. In addition, PCBs in the sediment become suspended in the water and are consumed by more fish, which are consumed by more people. The second method is capping, a non-removal remediation technique which leaves the waste where it is and isolates the contamination by covering it with a layer of soil and ore to prevent further spread into the environment. The impact on the local ecosystem is huge, and we love the ecosystem. Some scientists eventually had enough and began working on a new solution, one that is highly effective and non-invasive to minimize our environmental footprint while still cleaning rivers and waterways. This team, by the way, was started by NASA. That's right. NASA created this new technology that was called Project Spears. These small spikes are placed in the sediment of rivers, lakes, ports, harbors, wetlands, really anywhere in need of PCB remediation. The spikes absorb PCBs, keeping the molecules trapped and away from the water and marine life. Footprint and keeps our marine ecosystem safe, clean, and happy. So, next generations, Welcome to our still beautiful planet Earth. We have a promising future coming with the help of NASA and our team here at Ecospheres.